I'm bringing home a Valentine. It's a uh, little hand motion game, gesture game that we do to warm up our uh, minds and bodies before we start singing circle every day. It goes like this. We say, hands together. I'm bringing home a Valentine for you. One that says, I love you. I'm bringing home a Valentine for you. With a great big hug and a two. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream, and this song introduces the kids to a very important person in our history. It also is our way of taking attendance um, this go-round. The kids, once they hear their names, they are to put their bodies on the songboard so we have a visual of all the kids that were in Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. The song goes like this. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. He had the whole world in his dream. He had me and you. In his dream, he had me and you. In his dream, he had me and you. In his dream, he had the whole world in his dream. So who did he have in his dream? Like this. Alexa and Lila. He had Alexa and Lila. In his dream, he had Alexa and Lila. In his dream, he had Alexa and Lila. In his dream, he had the whole world in his dream. And the children get to hold their bodies while we sing about them. And then they come and put their bodies on our songboard. That's that song. Another one of our morning meeting songs is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This song um, continues on our Handwriting Without Tears curriculum, introducing the children to lines and how they make letters, numbers, and shapes. We say that every day and have been saying it for months. Lines make letters, numbers, and shapes. And there are two types of lines. There are straight lines and there are curved lines. So every day we go through this. We've done Matt Man. We did uh, My Teacher Draws a Shape for Me. And now we're introducing them to letters. And so we're doing their most important letter, the letter that starts their name. So it goes like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Which special letter is for me? <gasps> I found the letter that starts my name. D is for Danny, and D is made up of one straight line and one big curved line. I found the letter that starts my name. D is for Danny. Now, Emma, you try to do the same. And then Emma would have all these letters to choose from that are on the floor. Let's see if I can actually at least find her letter. Emma found the letter that starts her name. E is for Emma, and it's made of one big straight line and three short straight lines. And then we go on and on and on. Now, Emma, of course, every day I picked her for this song because every day I make my D, she says, a watermelon. And look at that, because we know that lines make letters, numbers, and shapes, and this is certainly the shape of a watermelon. Our singing circle songs for this month. It's called My Turn, Your Turn. I usually sign and sing this song together. 
um, the children doing the song get to emphasize the my turn, your turn. This song is about sharing. And so while we're certainly introducing some um, new vocabulary in the song, the emphasis is really a takeaway, uh, a social takeaway, which is sharing. So the children get to take turns doing this. So that goes through everybody, and they actually sing the first few lines of the song. So it goes like this. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. When I see a toy or a book that someone else is using, I want so much to take a look. It sometimes gets confusing. But I can ask, can I play with that? And listen for an answer back. And if I hear, yes, it's okay. It becomes my turn. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Sometimes when I have something fun, you may want to see it, and maybe when my turn is done, it could be nice to share it. Taking turns is good to do, back and forth from me to you. And if I give you a turn, you'll give me one too. And then we just end with, my turn, your turn. month we introduced the children to penguins and um, we've sung songs about penguins and we've also compared ourselves to the different size of penguins. So there's an Adelaide penguin that the children got to see that they are all taller than or bigger than. There is the king penguin where many of them are taller than or bigger than. Some of them are the same size as. Um, and then we also all measured ourselves against the visual of a king, I'm sorry, an emperor penguin. And everybody is smaller than a king penguin. This is one of our songs about penguins. And um, the children actually sing this song to us first. They use one of our voice output devices. And again, we take turns, we share, and they sing the song to us. So they just press this button. I'm a tabby penguin, aren't I cute? But I'm going to actually sing it to you because I'm going to do some of the signs that we've introduced with the song. So it goes like this. I'm a chubby penguin. Aren't I cute? I'm a bird in a penguin suit. My suit has thick feathers, black and white. I can't fly, but I swim all right. I can walk around on my webbed feet. Fresh fish are what I like to eat. I have lots of fat to keep me warm. My flippers help me swim along. penguin song. This one is called On Top of an Iceberg. This is more of a story, um, but we do sing it, and we do it every day that it's picked um, as one of our song choices for Singing Circle. And again, we're introducing the kids to some new um, novel vocabulary in the song. We also are really trying to boost their little egos and have them point out words that they now know. So before we sing the song every day, I go through and I point out words and I'll say, ooh, what's that word? And so many of the children at this point in the year know that means to know. Ooh, what's that word? That's penguin. So the children can shout out or can sign or can gesture. A lot of them smile. Um, but there are a lot of words that they now know.
So it goes like this. On top of an iceberg, all covered with snow. I saw my first penguin, and I wanted to know. Oh, is it a bird, or is it a fish? I looked at his feathers and knew which was which. I said, Mr. Penguin, which kind are you? He said, I'm an emperor and not against you. I said, Mr. Penguin, what's under your patch? He said, it's an egg and it's ready to hatch. I said, Mr. Penguin, oh, where is your wife? She's out in the ocean. She'll be back tonight, said Mr. Penguin. Her name is Jill. She's out in the ocean, feeding on krill. The next thing I knew, I heard a small beep, and I saw a chick at the emperor's feet. This is our Valentine song for this month. Um, we are learning to sign it and sing it, and also this is one of the songs that we worked on matching the same picture to picture. So in this song every day, we have the children take the pictures and we have them put them on um, whichever picture they get. We're also having them pick their pictures. So those that are starting to speak a little bit more, we're asking them not to just come and grab and make a choice that way, but to actually say the word of the picture that they want. So um, we're not gonna do matching because it's just me here. But what I am going to do is I'm going to sign all the words for you. So it goes like this. You're my rainbow. You're my star. You're my bright red cookie jar. You're my goldfish. You're my pie. You're the apple of my eye. You're my daisy. You're my vine. You're my own true valentine. one out. So all the children have had turns acting this one out, and I'm going to sing it, and then you're going to see my special actor for today. Okay? Usually there's a song board with this, but I'm just going to sing it. The kids know it pretty well now, and we're practicing making that sound in the song. Here we go. I'm a little groundhog, furry and brown. See me pop as I look around. Look around. If I see my shadow, down I go. 